Hi, I'm Michael. It is Monday, June 10th, and I wrote 1,587 words. This is the library novel, the main novel that I've been drafting. It's a supernatural thriller, and potentially it's going to be a YA supernatural thriller. And that really feels like something I should figure out pretty soon, but I haven't quite decided yet, so I might change my mind. Today's output was good. Uh, still dealing with the fallout from the inciting incident and how people are feeling after uh, the dust has settled figuratively and literally. And it's also the end of the first day that the novel takes place during. And again, it, it may be kind of an issue that it all takes place in one day so far. That might be a timing problem, but it depends on how fast things move for the rest of the book. It's something I'm gonna have to keep an eye on. Hi, I'm right here. My dog is playing with the bath mat, so <coughs> they ignore that. As I said in my last vlog, uh, Saturday my girlfriend and I went to go see Endgame. Uh, still an amazing movie, still a very, very good movie. And on Sunday, I was dealing with a very bad headache. Um, I think probably it was due to the air quality. Uh, there's an air quality advisory going on in Los Angeles this week, so that may be the main factor, as well as just the pollen in the air and, and stuff like that. So I took a nap for two hours, which I don't ever do. I never nap, let alone for that long, so... That ate up a good chunk of the day. But then after I woke up, I started outlining for the wizard novel, which is the next novel I'm gonna be writing after the current one. Again, I, I think it's going pretty well. I'm, I'm happy. I need to step it up a little bit if I wanna have it ready by, uh, by the time I'm ready to start drafting, but I have a little time, so just kinda need to watch the clock on that one a little bit. I also did a little reading. Uh, a couple of years ago, I started a reading challenge that I completely failed at. Like it was like, it was 12 books, one book a month, and, uh, and you could pick the books, it was just different genres. Then I picked a bunch of books, and I bought a bunch of books, and I didn't read any of them. So on Sunday, as I was recovering from this headache and I needed something to do, something that wouldn't be too taxing, I picked up the shortest book that I have, that I haven't read, um, with the biggest typeface, and it was Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. Selected because it was in the books in a genre you never ordinarily read category. And this may not be a huge revelation for a lot of people, but Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret is a pretty good book. I enjoyed it. I also started reading The Oracle Year uh, by Charles Soule, so um, that's going to be fun. I'm, I like the tone of that already. I'm only two chapters in, but I'm really enjoying it. And then before bed, uh, on the nights that we are up for it and awake, uh, we are reading Becoming, the Michelle Obama autobiography. So we are about two chapters into that as well. My family is doing another reading challenge this year, and because I'm using audiobooks primarily, I'm doing much better. Um, so I'm also reading some books via audiobook, uh, which I did a little bit of this weekend as well. So I'm just trying to get much better about reading as a habit. Because if you read more, your writing is good and better. That is, that is my feeling, and I feel very strongly about it. And I know this because I hadn't been reading for quite a while, and my writing suffered. Both the amount of which I was writing and the quality of the writing. Just generally, all of it was worse than it is now. That's all I got for today, but I will see you tomorrow with a Tuesday update. And by tomorrow, I mean in just a second, just now, and uh, just a moment. Here you go. It's Tuesday, June 11th, and I wrote 1,185 words. It was just a scene of one person telling another person, hey, maybe something supernatural is going on. And that other person being like, but is it though? It is. And kind of assessing how someone might react to that, which is going to be one of the things that I need to deal with in the book. Because it turns out when you tell a bunch of different people an experience that you had, they're going to have a lot of different opinions. But I'm excited because where I left off, I think I'm going to cut to the villain in the next scene. So we're going to have some fun with the villain tomorrow. Not a lot more to report today. Um, pretty much just sat down, did the work, and I'll see you tomorrow for a Wednesday update. Some moody lighting here today because it's uh, pretty gray today, but it's appropriate because I started writing the villain today. Woo! It's Wednesday, June 12th, and I wrote 1,157 words. And today, and probably tomorrow as well, are going to be major antagonist writing days, big scenes where we kind of get to know him a little better. In this sequence, I want to make it clear who he is, what he's capable of, and start hinting at what he might want. Although to be fair, a lot of that is gonna be a secret that the story is gonna to continue to reveal as it goes on. He's a really fun character to write and I'm really enjoying writing him. And to a certain degree, also figuring out what the limits of the supernatural in the story are going to be. 
My dog really wants to go out, so I will see you tomorrow with more writing updates. See you on Thursday. Hmm, I wonder if this lighting can be more evil. Evil lighting. It's Thursday, June 13th, and I wrote 1,427 words. And today was pretty much finishing off the sequence I was writing with the villain as he's working and trying to begin unfolding his plan. And man, this dude is really enjoyable to write, and I need to not write him so much. <laughs> I mean, if I had my way, I would just keep writing scenes of his, and that would be fun and not a very good novel. Evil sidekick. No, nah, but could be. It's so tempting, because he's so much fun to write and so interesting, but I think he needs to be doled out in little bits and bites, and as the story goes on, we'll learn more about him. But I also need the protagonist to, you know, do stuff. And I'm a very linear writer. I, I like moving from one sequence to the next, so I can't exactly jump around. I mean, I could, but I would prefer not to. So I want to tell the story as it plays out. Start at the beginning and make my way scene by scene by scene, and work in the villain scenes as I think they're needed and as I think they would be helpful. But he's so much fun to write. It would be really fun just to keep writing his scenes. But you know, I like my characters too. I do. I definitely still like my protagonists the same amount as I did before I started writing the villain. Nah, he's just too fun. He's too much, he's too enjoyable. Because he is like unquantifiably evil. He's a, he's a bad guy. There's a moment in the scene I'm writing where he's threatening somebody and I had to really carefully thread the needle of how much I wanted him to be scary, but also how evil I wanted a character in my book to be. Like, there was definitely an initial idea, this is what he'll threaten, and then I pulled that back a little. And I hope he still comes across as evil, just in a way that shows that I also have at least some good taste. That's it for today, but I'll see you tomorrow for Friday Update. It is Friday, June 14th, and I wrote 1,300 words today. I could not record in my room. Wrigley was being absolutely impossible today. Normally, when he's like that, I'll just put him on my lap and I'll just keep recording and that'll kind of settle him down, but he was, he was not having it today. My parents are coming into town and I think he knows that there's something exciting going on. So he is just absolutely ballistic. So trying to get this recording in while we clean the house and <laughs> prepare for their arrival. Today I wrote a scene of the sister, um, kind of just dealing with the fallout from the inciting incident. And I know the other day I said that I pretty much try to write linearly, but as I was working on the scene, I pretty quickly figured out that this had to come a little bit earlier. This came before a few of the other scenes I was working on this week. Fortunately, the nice thing about Scrivener is you don't even have to copy paste. You can just move it whoop, further up the timeline. And that was super easy, but I could just be writing the villain. No, I'm not just gonna keep writing the villain. Now the villain has entered the story, this is definitely going to be a very interesting balancing act to try to figure out how to manage the protagonists and also thread the villain into the story and deal with the character's personal issues, but also dealing with the main drama as it is unfolding. I don't have like an answer for that yet, so I'll have to keep you posted. The last novel I wrote was told entirely from the perspective of the lead, from the protagonist. And we never cut away, we didn't cut to the villains, so I don't have a lot of experience with the intercutting method. I haven't used a lot of third-person omniscient. I haven't really used any third-person omniscient. That does it for this week's video. Uh, I'll be back next week with more content. I'm actually going to Chicago um, partway through next week, so we'll have to see if I really get a chance to record a vlog. If I don't, I'll probably do an author tube tag, um, which I may still do next week anyway. Um, but we'll see if that replaces the vlog or supplements it. We'll, we'll have to see how that works out. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you want to see more like it. I promise most of the videos are like it. Make sure to ring the bell so that you know when I upload new videos. Um, I was talking to my dad about the vlog, and he was looking at me kind of stupefied at one point, and I realized he hadn't seen the new video, and probably because he hadn't rung the bell. You gotta ring the bell. And leave a comment below, do you try to write the characters all in a row? Do you try to write the story in sequence? Or do you kind of bounce around as the story moves you? See you next time, bye. 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 I need a longer arm.